Protesters are still camped out near De Leon's Eagle Rock home demanding his resignation. So what do they think of the new interview and his latest refusal to resign? CBS 2's Jeff DeWen live in the neighborhood with that response tonight. Jeff. In fact, Jeff and Pat, you know, Black Lives Matter LA has been camped out down the street from Kevin DeLeon's home since this weekend. Bottom line, they want him out of office. So before this newscast, we spoke to them to get their reaction on what was revealed in Tom Waits' exclusive interview with Kevin DeLeon, in which he says he will not step down. Take a listen. I'm not surprised at all. Um, you know, unfortunately, when people are in power, and it is hard for them to uh, step down from power in that way. And also, it shows his complete lack of humility. And it shows the fact that he's clearly not serving the city of Los Angeles. He's serving his own interests. Because if he was serving Los Angeles, he would listen to the city of Los Angeles and the fact that they told him to step down. And through their staff, both Gil Cedillo and Kevin DeLeon asked to be excused from today's city council meeting, but that certainly did not stop another day of demonstrations at City Hall. Police officers locked the door at LA City Hall as demonstrators chanted to be allowed inside for today's city council meeting that was held virtually because of COVID concerns. They put a police tape as a symbol against two former city council members who've been indicted and a third who was sentenced to prison and against the recently leaked recording that included racist comments. This is a crime scene. I think folks recognize that something atrocious has happened in city council through the leaked recording of Nuri Martinez, Gil Cedillo and Kevin DeLeon. They've exhibited clear anti-blackness, anti-indigeneity and homophobia. Former council president Nuri Martinez and labor leader Ron Herrera have resigned, but council members Gil Cedillo and Kevin DeLeon have not. Yeah. Is there a compromise here? Um, the compromise is when he leaves, we'll leave. When Kevin DeLeon steps down, the camp out will end. Black Lives Matter LA has been demonstrating several hundred feet from DeLeon's Eagle Rock home since this weekend. During public comment at City Hall, there were very few speakers who were in support of either Cedillo or DeLeon. We want the immediate resignations of Gil Cedillo and Kevin De Leon. Okay, I'm asking Kevin De Leon not to resign. And there should be no business before this council until we have the resignation. Yesterday, the council elected Paul Kikorian as its new president. While he doesn't have the power to remove the pair, he has asked both to step down. We got commitments from Marquise Harris Dawson, Heather Hutt, Mike Bonin, Nitya Raman, um, all of the progressives on city council to refuse to meet alongside De Leon and Cedillo. Stepping on everybody else. And BLM LA says that it plans to stay put until Kevin DeLeon resigns. We should tell you that the city council is expected to meet on Friday. Demonstrators, again, plan to be back at City Hall unless the two council members resign. For now, we are live in Eagle Rock. Jeff Nguyen, CBS 2 News. All right.